Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be pretty brief, but it's something that just came to me and like I'm just going to film a really quick video for you guys. I'm going to take you into my four-year-old daughter's bedroom and show you what some of her decor is. Um, I have seen so many videos <laughs> and especially lately, like I was watching one from the Dad Challenge podcast when they were going through like Micah's house and their kids bedroom and it's like everything was from like pottery barn kids or just it's just restoration hardware that's the other one and I just cannot I could not imagine spending that kind of money on my kids bedroom so I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I got from Dollar Tree that I think look really nice in her bedroom it fits like the theme which is like unicorns and mermaids and I just thought it was a really good like video to do for you guys I guess so let me just show you what is in her bedroom okay the first thing is this little sign it says unicorn crossing that's just on the outside of her door this was from the Dollar Tree back over here <clears throat> is a follow your heart sign I know it looks like it's Valentine's um but I think I got it a couple of years ago for her but I just keep it up for her year round because I just, I think it's really, really, really cute. The next thing that I got was this picture frame. So I got that and I stick a picture of my daughter and I on there. The next thing that I got was this cute little wood stand, I guess. This wood sign, I guess. I thought it was really cute. It's a little sloth unicorn and she loves rainbows. The next thing is this sign, celebrate everything, life is an adventure, and then you can flip it around and find the joy in the journey, and I think it's actually, no, it's one-sided. I thought it could have been double-sided, <clears throat> so there's that. The next thing I got from Dollar Tree was this cute little, like, unicorn space, like, glitter sign. Let me just, <laughs> she takes it off and plays with it. I have it just kind of lower so it's at her level, but that I thought was super darling. The next thing that I got was this little, I got one from my room too. Mine is black with a gold top. Hers is this pink and I just keep some of her hair ties in there. She thinks that that's really fancy because I have the same one. So I got her that. The next thing that I got at Dollar Tree were these two signs that hang over her bed. One is a mermaid, and just like the sparkle one, they move around, so it's kind of cool. The next one is I Believe in Unicorns, and I just hung them up right over her bed. Sorry, her birthday was the other day, so her balloons are still there, but yeah. The next thing that I have is this little sign, Little But Fierce, and boy oh boy, is that not the truth. <sighs> she is very fierce. So she has that little sign from the Dollar Tree. The other thing that I got from the Dollar Tree was this cute little like picture holder um and I just put some of our pictures on there so yeah it's not anything fancy it's very minimal <clears throat> other things that I've like purchased in her room going off of like the Dollar Tree theme was this little banner with the stars that was three dollars at the Target dollar spot all of these stickers or these wall or glass stickers I don't know what they're called gel clings those are from the dollar spot um, I'm trying to think. She doesn't really have anything else in her room hanging. The other thing that she has is she has this sign, but that was a gift. And then the N above her door was from Hobby Lobby and it was like on clearance when she was really, really little and it was only a couple bucks. But the point of this video is you guys don't, com don't compare yourself to the moms of YouTube per usual. Their kids' bedrooms have hundreds upon hundreds of dollars thrown into them it goes back to what I always say your kid does not care all they really care about is having some toys you know their bed some stuffed animals throw a couple things up on the wall make it however but you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money and the other thing that I always tell you guys is the fact that you're putting any effort in at all shows how much you truly love your children so don't get caught up and don't be influenced don't go buy a bunch of stuff that you don't have money for just to fit in with the YouTube moms or anything like that or Instagram. Just get what is within your means and I promise you, your kid's not going to care. They might when they're a little bit older, um, but 
so far she's four, she doesn't care. So who knows? I don't know when that will change, when she'll want specific things. But when it comes to like huge signs that light up and it's from Pottery Barn Kids and stuff, she does not care. So yeah, that's my message for you guys today. I know this video was short, but it was just something that I was thinking about because I was tidying up her room today. I'm like, I'm just going to show them what I have because her decor is so like minimal and it spent what I spent, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 we'll just round up and say I spent $15 for her room decor so just do whatever you can do and your kid will be just as happy as if you spent hundreds of dollars just saying if you liked this video please let me know down below in the comments and you guys I'm so close I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. Um, when I'm filming this I just last checked and I think I needed like 12 more so Huge shout out and thank you to all of you that have subscribed. You're awesome. Um, and if you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. I do a lot of videos like this. Um, I think I'm also going to start another like playlist for my Husky Ripley. I've gotten so many comments about how people want to see Ripley in the videos more and more. So I think I'm going to do like a Ripley playlist, a Ripley day in the life, something like that. I don't know. If you have suggestions, let me know down below. But uh, show me, show me, but tell me how you guys decorate your kids' rooms, where you go, what stores. No judgment if you do go to Pottery Barn Kids. Like, it's just something that isn't for me. Um, but I want to know what you guys do. So let me know down below. And I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.